Hello curious people, welcome back to C Sharp Hub. Today we are going to write a new game and it's going to be the very famous Hangman game. This is going to be a console application and we are going to write it simply and excitingly. Let's get rid of this hello world that gets there automatically. And we are going to start out by defining a string, actually an array of string. And this is going to be the words that Hangman Game can use to randomly choose. So we are going to give it values, all the values that it's going to have right up front when we declare it. Let's make to tutorial, then uh, coding, then uh, mm -hmm, programming or programmer, then uh, C-sharp for example, and so that's what the, the program can choose for. Then we go ahead and start a random. And it's going to be a new random. And uh, we're going to declare a string which is going to be the selected word. And it's going to equal from the words it's going to be random dot next and the length of the words so basically it's going to choose from what we uh, listed above. Then we are going to declare an array of characters. It should be the word to guess. And um, it's going to be equal to the selected word. And it's going to be a character array made from the selected word that we have just made the program select. Another array of characters is going to be what the user or the player uh, guesses and let's call it the array of guessed letters and uh, it's going to be the array of character for the word to guess length. Then we are going to go into loop <coughs> and it's going to be 4, then an integer i which equals 0, then so long as i is less than the length of guessed letters, it's going to increment by 1. And what's going to happen, so long as this is true, is that the guess letters square brackets i is going to equal an underscore. By this, if we want to display the unguessed word, but we want to give a hint of how long it is, we just have to uh, console write the guest letters array. <clears throat> then we are going to have to keep track of how many attempts the player can play. It's going to be 10. So attempts left equals 10. Then uh, 
We're going to enter into another loop while the attempts that are left is bigger than zero. We we will keep writing. We're going to write out to the player current word, and then we add the a string um, of guest letters. Yeah, another bracket closed. And then we move on to <coughs> again write a line. Guess a letter, semicolon, and then we are going to define the letter that they guessed, which is going to be a character called guess, and it will be equal to the character brought to lowercase that we read from the console key. So it's going to be console.read key and then the key character. So we read from the user input the key character and that's going to be called guess. And then uh, I just add a, a, an extra line so that it's more readable. Then we are going to define and declare whether that guess is correct. I'm going to call a boolean and it's going to be called correct guess. And by default it's false, but I like to write out that it equals false. Now, the loop we are going to make is a for loop and it starts with an integer at zero and so long as that integer is uh, smaller than the length of the word to guess we are going to increment this integer i by one that's what i plus plus stands for <coughs> so we start with if the word to guess, the array of word to guess, equals the guess. So the member of the array of word to guess equals the current guess. Then the guest letters, as is a current character, is going to be equal to the guest. And then we set the boolean correct guess to true. Whereas uh, If if the correct guess boolean is false, then we need to deduct from the from how many attempts the player has left <coughs> and we should inform him or her that the guess was not correct and we are going to display how many attempts he or she has left so it's going to be plus attempts left
Good. Okay. Now we move on to the next logical thing, which is going to be what should happen if uh, if the guest letters as a string equals the selected word. So if all the characters that make up the guest letters string are matching the selected words characters, then basically the player has won. So we are going to write congratulations. You guessed the word and we are going to display what that word is. So we are going to plus the selected word. And I like to add console.readline, which means basically the program is waiting for an enter. And this is where we break. Good. Now with that done, we need to show what the game's outcome is. So, I'm gonna scroll down so that you can see. If the attempts that the player has left equals zero, so we, he or she used up all the attempts, then we are going to say with console.writeline that we are terribly sorry, but just run out of, of attempts. Of where's the attempts? The word was because everybody deserves to know, even the losers, of which we are not going to have any. So plus selected word. And we end the line. Now, console read line is something I really like to put in because it makes everything a bit more readable to add an extra uh, empty line. Otherwise, I mean, either way, we are going to say thanks for playing Hangman because we need to be polite to players so that they come back and play again with our nice little games. It pays to be nice. So, console read line, good. And yeah, that's closed there. Basically, we can run our program and see how it works. So, it says current word. It's not going to be a very long word, judging by that. Let me make it bigger for all of us to see. And let's start with S and C. Oh, it starts with a C. Then it has a D. Does it have an E? No. Then it, it has an I, and let's just run this. Yeah. It ends with a G. I think we can guess that it's going to have an O, and if O goes well, there's an N in there, and it prompts, congratulations, you guessed the word coding. And it displays, thanks for playing Hangman. 
Good. So, our game li little game works. Thanks for watching. I think we made it proper and nice. I will leave the, the, the full code in the description. And if you need to ask anything, you can do it in the comments. I'll do my very best to reply to each and every one of you. Thank you very much for watching. Keep coding.